We talked a lot about Facebook ads tips, Google ads tips and other digital marketing tips. You probably know that already if you subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you haven't, this is the right time to click below this video, hit subscribe and like this, you will always be up to date with our most frequent videos where I share usually online marketing trends, tips and case studies. So coming back, I was saying that a lot of you have asked me how to actually set up a Facebook ads campaign. Of course, I usually told you that there is the Facebook Blueprint tutorial, but you were asking me what would be some basic things that you should take into account while setting up your first Facebook Ads campaign. Let's see! If you choose brand awareness or reach, the main difference is that brand awareness ensures a higher number of page views per user, while reach focuses on unique views for different users. If you choose traffic, then it means that you want users to click on your campaign and therefore Facebook will be in a learning phase for a while and uh, it will learn exactly what types of users are clicking on your ad and it will try to serve your campaign for that particular type of users. If you want engagement, that is where you get the boost post functionality and this means that you actually want people to like your or to have a reaction for your ad, to comment, share and so on. It's the same process, your campaign first goes through a learning phase and Facebook learns what type of people are usually engaging with your ad and then serves your campaign to similar people. App installs is especially for mobile apps, video views, you want people to view your video and this is the objective that Facebook is uh, focusing on. Lead generation means that you give users the possibility to fill in their data in a very simple Facebook form and Facebook will be again in a learning phase and see what type of people usually fill in that form. And this is great for email marketing, subscribing campaigns and other lead generation type of campaigns. Messages means that you want people to actually send you a message after seeing your ad to click on the send message button. And conversions and catalog sales are especially for e-commerce and there Facebook focuses through the Facebook pixel on those users that actually click on your campaign, get to your website and reach your thank you page. So for example, let's say we click on the traffic objective. We then name our campaign. Let's say it's called first. <laughs> We can create a split test and A-B test our creative or something else, but we will focus on this in a later episode. And then we continue. The most important thing that happens now in the second phase, the phase of the ad set building, is the targeting of the campaign and the placement choosing and budget and scheduling choosing. So. So according to our objective, what we can choose at the ad set level is our targeting. Let's keep the custom audiences for now as this is our first campaign and we want to keep, our, keep it simple. This is where we choose our location. Our location can be as uh, specific as a street, for example. We can choose a certain street or a city or whatever. If you choose a city, don't forget to click current city only or to focus on the exact radius that you want uh, around your city. We choose the agent's gender of our targeting. And this is where in detail targeting, for example, we can either choose from certain categories of demographics and targeting options. Like for example, we can click on engage shoppers and here, whatever you are choosing, you will find on the right an explanation about that uh, type of targeting and Facebook explains to you how a user gets into that targeting group. You will find here a lot of interesting target groups like for example engaged shoppers which means that Facebook will be targeting uh, users that are uh, frequently clicking the call to action button shop now. Another thing that you can target here is fan pages. For example Sephora I'm choosing here you can uh, target the people that like a certain page, a certain business page, but only if that page has about above 100,000 users. 
A magic button here is narrow your audience because, for example, if we choose two uh, different interests, like for example Sephora and Zara, what we will get is the reunion of those two interests and we will see on the right that we are getting both the fans of Sephora and the fans of Zara from our specific region. If we want to target the people that both like Sephora and Zara, what we must do is click on the narrow your audience and this means that we can target the people that like both. So it's the intersection. Okay. You will see here an important warning, fewer than a thousand people. For privacy reasons, Facebook doesn't let you run a campaign for an audience that is too specific, that is more specific than a thousand users. So take care of that too. And here, another important part that we get at and that it's important for your first campaign is to the automatic placements or edit, place, edit placements button. Here you can either let the campaign uh, let Facebook choose where uh, it shows your campaign or you can edit exactly the placements where Facebook should uh, show your campaign. You can choose here whether you want your ad to appear in the Facebook news feed, in the Instagram feed, in Facebook marketplace and so on. Take particular care at in-article placements because this, is, this means that your ad will show in an article that someone opens on, Facebook, on the Facebook mobile app and particularly on apps and sites because if you choose these placements it means that your ad actually shows in other partner apps and sites for the Facebook uh, from the Facebook network, so not exactly on Facebook. You can choose here if you want your ad to appear in Stories, on Instagram, on Instagram Explore, Instagram Stories, and so on. My general recommendation is for your first campaign to go for automatic placements and then to see after a few um, views and after a few um, impressions of your ad to see with the breakdown features which were the placements that perform best and to then go for edit placements and choose those particular placements that perform the best. In order to get to the next step I have to go for a higher audience, yeah we are okay now. You choose the budget and this is a topic for another talk and the last step is to actually create your ad. Here, what you can do is select, first of all, the format for your ad creative. It can be a carousel ad where you get more images or videos. Uh, you can go for single image or single video, or you can go for a Facebook collection ad that showcases more items from your e-commerce website, for example. Uh, this is a separate talk about exactly what, form what format performs and so on. So if you want to know more about this, don't forget to subscribe to Digital Branch on YouTube.